now let's let's bake this now as we should so now we're, we're done with the preparation of the mesh for texturing and for baking rather okay So now let's let's export this as we should. <coughs> so I will select select this undo. Select this undo. I think I'm gonna select the both undos for this. Okay, select this undo. Done export selection. Export. So in here, I'll create a new folder. I name this low. Name this low poly, and then I will export this as low poly for undo. And I'll click exports. Select this, I'll do the same for this also. Should be my pointer. Pointer low. Export that. I'll select this. Export selection. Let me just name this cloth also. Clothes low. So I have this all in there now as it should. I'll do a quick save on this. I'll do a quick save on this. Sorry for the background noise. It's, it's new it's new year day, that's why there's so much noise at the background. Okay, so uh, then I would open Momo set to bag. So now inside of Momo set to bag, I'll go to my bake. Go to my bake. Then I'll go and begin to drop my maps in here. So starting from the low poly. Starting from this low poly, let me drag in my undo. Select this and do low drag this in here okay you can see this is fine I think I need to center pivot on this okay it's in the center already don't know why is not my my pivot is not in the center of this okay anyways let me leave this let me leave this as it is okay and then I need to import the I pulley to import the eye pulley of this so I'll drag this into this low pulley group then I would let's see let me drag in my pointer let me see if I can bake the two of these at the same time so I'll drag the pointer in, in there also I'll drag this beneath under the same group then I'll go in and look for my eye poly mesh. Look for my eye poly mesh. So I have this is for the undo eye. I'll drag this in here. I'll drag this directly below the high group. 
uh, let me temporarily hide this my low group you can see the details in there scratching out the necessary details which is fine and I'll go in and import my pointer high this one is about 200 MB uh, I think I'll, I think I'll take things slow, I'm taking slow instead so to work more efficiently so my piece doesn't hang all the way so let's, let's just work with the handle for now so if I should turn off my high turn on my low then I'll go to my click on the low now this is this is a big cage this is the cage the cage I think this is fine if, if, if there any issue with the big on my mesh I can just adjust this the, the, the off offset for this particular cage so I will go to my baker I go to my baker and then my baker I would go down to our smoothing see apply the smoothing filter to the big surface this can be useful for smoothing borders around floaters so let me take this around here multi layer PSD yes I need that I need that okay, no no let me turn that though I don't need that I don't want all my maps to be on one single layer for now then padding I'll put it on none I don't want any padding on this I'll leave this on 8 bit leave some samples on 4 so I want to bake my normals make my normals let me bake at yeah, 2k resolution seems fine but let me bake at let me bake at 4k resolution under configure I want to bake my uh, so in here I would select I want to bake my UV island also like an, an ID map for that. Uh, I'll leave the rest. I'll leave the rest at default. Turn this off. Then going back. Going back in here. Okay. So I'll turn off my UV island for this. So I have everything as I have everything as it should be. Smooth cage, back faces. Uh, ignores the back size of triangles on the high poly mesh. When baking, this is often useful for correctly baking crevices and floating geometry. Yeah, so I'll leave I'll leave that as it is. Then I'll go back to my baker. Then I'll just click bake so i'm baking my normal and my uv uv island so i'll just click bake bake output okay to set an output for this i would so i'll go to i'll go, go down to my output go in here uh let me create, create a new folder and name this bakes I will open that and I would create a new folder. I'll name this undo. Name this undo. I'll open this up. So uh, I think PSD, PSD is fine. Save type PSD, PND, PSD is fine. I'll please save. I'm name this undo. So I'll, I'll name this undo. Name this undo. So and then I'll just click on my bake. Then I'll come back when that's done. So it's done baking. So now let's let's check if our if our maps baked baked correctly. So I can I can, I'll, I'll come in here. I'll just click on go back to my bake. Click on preview. Now, as you can see, my our low poly, 
a low poly object is now having that high detailed sculpting on this as you can see so this is so this bit this bit quite nicely all the details are there as we should have it okay This, this, this is quite nice this is quite nice exactly what we needed exactly what we needed so this is quite nice so as you can see we are done with, we are done with that so now I can comfortably can comfortably bake comfortably bake some other some other maps for this so if I go to my if I go in here under bigs if I go to the normal map let's see the normal map so I'll double click on this to open it so you can check how that map is looking so why that is opening at the background let me pick some other maps for this uh, though it will not be completely necessary because we're still going to we're still going to be making other maps inside of inside of um Subtown's painter. So every other map looks good, but I would like to bake in bake my height. Uh, and I'll put this on 16 bits. Then I'll just do a bake for my height. Do a bake for the height. Okay, so at 4K, 4K seems fine. Okay, then I'll just do a bake now. I'll click on bake and I'll come back when that's done. So, there's one thing you need to be very, very careful of while, while baking is making sure, is making sure your, making sure your high and low poly mesh are in the same position as in you won't need to kind of move this you will need to kind of move this like this out of the way because if you move this out of the way and then your eye poly is somewhere around here your big your big your bakes will be nasty you, you won't have correct bakes in here so you need to be very very careful about that very very careful about that if not it won't bake correctly as it should so let me turn off let me turn off this low let me turn off this low and check my and check my high pulley it's gonna see if there's any difference with this and then with one I've baked this is, this, is, this, is, this is a high dense mesh this is a pretty high dense mesh it's a high dense mesh and then we have let me hide this and then we have the low one that has the bake in there not, not, not bad, you can live with this, not bad at all so back to photoshop so this is our normal map as you zoom in, zoom into this. So you have our normal maps correctly baked. So you can see the details. Let me do, let me do a scrub zoom zoom for this. Okay, turn of scrub zoom. So you can see our maps. Our maps were baked correctly without any artifacts in there. Yeah, no artifacts in there. Though, we still need, we still need to do some clean up on this. As you can see, I can see a visible, I can see a visible uh, tiling, tiling, and tie, um, tiling line in here. It's in the seam line in here that I need to kind of fix. Let's see. There's another one in here also that I need to kind of fix. Yeah, also. So I'll, I'll show you guys how to quickly fix that inside of Photoshop. So let me do a more obvious place, like a more obvious place, like in here. 
so an, an easy fix for this is just to use a um, okay using a, a clone stamping brush turn this off could not use the clone stamping because the area has not been defined so I'll increase this like so so I'll, I'll hold out and sample I'll hold out and sample this region as you can see it's going with me now and I'll just click click here tap in there hold out sample this region very close to it and just tap in there to fix that as you can see I'm fixing those now maybe I should increase the brush size a bit more hold out sample this region and click in there hold out sample this region and click in there so, so I can see that I'm, I'm kind of fixing that seam line in there that seam line we find something like this, this seam line here yeah. so fixing that becomes quite easy in Photoshop I'm sure you guys get the idea now so you see the same process we're going to be following for the entire for the entire mesh for the entire for the entire other for the entire other pieces of our mesh so since I'm done with this I think I think I beat my okay this is my eyes let me open this up let's see our uh, eyes information Uh, it 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 baked this wrongly. I can't see the item information in here. It baked it com completely wrong. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. I I have my normal map. My normal map will do just fine. My normal map, my normal map will do just fine for this. So I I still have a lot of this. I still have a lot of things to fix in here. But let's go let's go and bake another. Let's go and bake another. And delete this baker. Let's go and bake another object. So I'm sure you guys get the idea already. So I'll bake another object. I'll go in. I'll go into my. I'll go into my knives. Uh, I think under knives. Okay, under low poly. Now I can drag in my pointer. Pointer low. Drag this in here. I'll create a new big group. Drag this below. Now I'll go to my under Z maps. Should have my font high. The OBJ file. So I'll drag this in. Drag this in. So it's loading up. So I have that now imported, and then and then the same position. So I'll drag this to the high, drop this on the high. Let me turn off my low for now. Turn off my low. So this is the high mesh. High mesh. I'll, okay. Then now turn this off. Turn off the high for now. Go to the low. Just click on the low. Now for this offset, I need to bring the offset closer. So I'll uh, adjust this, adjust this max offset. Bring this closer to the mesh. Bring this closer to the mesh. So I'll kind of capture, capture the details for that properly as I should. So that's fine. So now I'll, I'll go back to my high. Okay, I'll go back to my my big. I'll choose a destination for this. I'm making my normal map. Now big my big my UV island. I turn on my UV UV island, and then I go to 4K resolution, 4,000 pixel resolution. I'll increase the smooth. The padding I have none on the padding, no padding. Then I will go to okay, and I'll set the destination for this. I'll go back. I'll go back one step, create a new folder and name this pointer. Name this pointer. Name this pointer. Uh, 
okay so now that so now that i have this in here now i can just do my bake bear in mind that this pointer and then my hand are on the same uv um uv space in the same zero to one space so back in here i can just do, i can do a big now and do a big so i'll just let me close this i'll delete delete everything that is in here i'll create a new material Let me, let me leave this back on. Let me leave this back on. Then checking if everything is correct in here. Then I'll, I can do a bake now. So I'll just click on bake and I'll come back when this is done. So now it's done baking. So let me let me preview this. So I'll click on the preview icon to preview this. So as you can see, my low poly mesh is now having those eye just eye details in here which is fine so this is very nice it's very very nice okay so everything is working correctly as you should so if I should go in here and kind of preview this if I should preview this on that bakes I go to the pointer under the pointer I'll do, double click on this my then as you can see everything is working correctly as it should okay, it's catching more of the details because I make the big cage more closer no, no I feel I should I feel I should I should redo feel I should redo this this bakes for this undo and make my offset kind of closer so let me select all of this I'll delete this I'll rebake my let me rebake my undos so I'll do an undo so I want to rebake I want to rebake this Selecting the low on the offsets. I want to bring this group closer to the mesh. So on the offsets, on the offset, I'll drag this lower to this. You know. So I'm trying to make sure this is closer to the mesh. So I'll drag this closer to the mesh. Okay. Then I can also do my I can do my bake now. This is fine. I can do my bake now. Go to my bake. Settings remains the same as previous. The previous setting set this then I can set my destination again set my destination again then it should give us a better result than the previous then I can just bake this I'll just go and click on bake so I've done with the baking so let's let's preview this I'll go to my bake preview this Yes, we have a more, we have a better result in here. Because now our big, our big is now our cage is more closer to our mesh, so we're having a better result. But now there seems to be an issue up here. There's an issue up here. There's an issue here because it was too close to our mesh. So let me show you guys how to how to easily fix that. So I'll go back in here and I'll do I'll rebake re this. I will pick my normal map. So how do I go about fixing this? Let me delete. I'll delete the preview. I'll drag this back in here. So going back to this low, I can. I'll paint. Paint an offset in here. So it needs to be slightly yeah I think we are the we are the issue around here what the issue around here 
no 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 i don't want this to be closer i want to push this up to push this up so i will i will hold out hold out kind of hold out to kind of raise this up a bit more okay let me undo that let me get a closer view on that hold out and just paint Uh, seems to be an issue. Let me clear this. Yes, clear that. Let me repaint. Paint offsets. Seems to be an issue with my mouse. this again so I went in here and did another offset just to raise this out a bit more so if I'm painting offset here uh, paint an offset here you should paint in the other direction while holding out because it just did us now but i think i'm having some issue with my with my mouse that's why it's not painting the way it ought to so let me clear this so i kind of raise the offset up up upwards a bit more upwards a bit more then i can i can rebig this i can rebig this so i'll just big this again let me increase my smooth then I'll do I'll bake this again. Then I'll do a preview on this. So as you can see, it's better now. I just raise that up a bit more. Just change my offset a bit more now, and I'm catching more details in here. So this is fine. This is fine. So I'm sure you guys get the entire idea already. So the only thing I'm going to do in here is to kind of please, like for example. I have let me control zero to zoom out in Photoshop. I should go in here and bring in the okay, bring in the handle in here, dropping the handle in here, hit enter. Then I would go in here to my peaks on the pointer. I can drag in my UV island also in here enter then I can go to my go to my magic wand select this black and delete those now it won't work because I need to convert this into an editable layer so I'll rasterize this and hit delete on this I'll hit delete on that so now I have this ctrl D to deselect I'll select this I'll rasterize this I'll click on the black and delete those also control D to deselect so, so now that I have this in here now I can select these two control E to merge that into one layer so I'm, I'm having this now on my, on my pointer so I can do something like this I will hold so this is my pointer I would control okay I'll select this hold shift select this then hold shift and select this. This three comes with the painter. Let's now go to my normal map for this. Let me close this. So save no. Let me open the new no, 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 normal map I just big for my handle. So I'll double click in here. Now I can easily go back to my pointer. Deselect. I would. Control okay. I can select and drag this layer to the undo of this normal map. 
no no it's not copying correctly okay control click on this i'll do a copy control c i believe that should that should work correctly control v to paste this in here no it's not working correctly there's a shift there is a shift D there's a shift in my offset let me unlock this uh, okay back in here I would okay, back in you okay, can let me just do this instead I would right click and I'll do a duplicate layer duplicate layer I'll duplicate this layer to my pointer normal so I should have that in here now so that's fine I should have this in here now then I would deselect this go in here I would put my magic one select all of this select all of this selecting that now I can turn this back on I'll select this piece selecting this piece I will do I'll do a copy of this control G now if I should turn this off now should hide this now now you can you know you can see that I have my normal maps in the same uv space so let me deselect this so I have my normal map in the same uv space so now i can just save this as my as a normal map for my for my pointer and for my handle i'm sure you guys get the idea already so it's as simple as this but you know remember we still need to fix on the yeah on the let me zoom in here still need to fix some of the issues we are having where some of the tiling issues were kind of obvious in our mesh like for example somewhere around here so and I'm sure you get how to fix that already even here also we need to fix this also you can see some weird issues going on here some weird issues going on here let me do a zoom let me zoom in here so to fix that, I can use my clone stamping. Let me take this down a bit more, something like this. I'll hold out sample, hold out and sample. Let me see. Control minus to zoom out a bit. Clone stamping. Take down my brush size a bit. Hold out, sample this region, and then fix this hold out sample this region fix this so try to be more trying to be more careful with this sample sample so I'm doing this very close to that region Go here, hold out sample this region and kind of stamp that in there. As you can see, I fixed that. So let me quickly do this also in here. Sample this. Clean this up. Reduce this. Sample this region. Clean these edges. Sample this region. Clean that edge. Sample this region. Sample this region and just clean this. Sample this region. Just stamp. Okay. Okay. Increase the brush size a bit. Sample this region and then just tap in there. So that's fine. Then I can do a save on this and then fix some other regions. Like in here also. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. When I'm when I'm done baking every part of the mesh and then fix up where I'm having issues issues like this and fix up where I have issues like this also. So I'll see you guys I'll see you guys in the next lesson.